Good execution. Release me now, and I won't kill you. Even the worms won't eat you. Hard honk. Please, hey! How dare this ritual? Why have you... just get over and... on your knees! On your knees and die! I got ya! Not a chance! Come on! Chief. Come on, 
I speak with the mouth of Sauron, the second Dark Lord of this Middle-earth. Our will is his will. Mordor is ours, and fairly won. You will take this message from Sauron back to your Spider Queen, Shelob, the last daughter of Ungoliant. Your eggs will not be allowed to hatch in Mordor. Your children will no longer prey on the Morgul flies. You will depart this realm, abandon your nests in non Ungol. You have grown fat on our generosity. We have fed you as we would a pet, allowed you to run unfettered. This ends now. Our union, as it was, has ended. Our will is irresistible. We have spoken. creature here seems to live to slaughter every other. And every one of them will learn to fear us above all. Oh, 
the time. You must have stolen someone's grog. I don't know. Scream for me! See me? Shouldn't hear me? It's a clean kill. And none of it is going to go to waste. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming! Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny! <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. <sighs> we must prepare! I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct. And it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. 
Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? The hunt is my mistress. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag, like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on the Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose, then? Wouldn't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. <laughs> when a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt! <laughs> what now? Hop on and take her for a ride! Hold tight! Become lord of the beast! about the same time it took me to take one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. Let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. <laughs> beast can be used for good. You've been hunting and learning for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a spice to the hunt. Sure you can ride a cat, but can you shoot from one? You take him up high! Leave the Grand Docks to me! My kills are much cleaner, though. Quality over quantity. The world was young, the mountains green. Steam upon the moon was seen. The words were laid and string were strewn. When Jerry woke and walked alone, he named the nameless hills of bones. He drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked at Miramir and saw a crown of stars appear. Slide above the shadows of his head. <laughs> Final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. 
The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they tossed me to the rocks below. Hunting party! Let's hunt them bastards for a change! Quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. Riding Karagors have to do with killing Grogs? All these questions, Captain. Well, you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You're gonna need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, on the hunt, respect is earned. Who knows? It'll even call you sir, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost.
can not put off by my wee scars. No one, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters? <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain. You ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. Bleed his ankle! You should have taken notice. Step two, Captain! The blood will attract Caragors! Jump on one before she comes on you! Your speed will now match the ground! That will be quite a ride. I need a category for speed. Sounds easy enough. Right on, Captain! Hear you! I've slain bigger crowds when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long! Step three! Shoot him in the head!
Instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? Hey? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them.
I've led you to the food! Now, let's go get it! You see, my hunting tactics are flawless. <laughs>